Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee. I want to thank you for stopping by and um, taking your time to be with me. So I have a project share and the next video right after this will be a tutorial on how to put this together. So this isn't the project share. Remember I made this album a recipe card holder. So simple, so quick. It only took one hour. Well, now I've done two in one. The next project share is this one. It's an album and a recipe book. So the lady that made this is Carrie Ann and she is with Shabby Art Boutique and I'll put the link down below. And this month was February, which is already March. But the February was Granny's Pantry um, Digitals, if you're in her uh, handmade club. I'm very new at her and her uh, stuff, but I saw this and fell in love. And I also inked everything up with Tim Holtz Spun Sugar. So there we go. Now let me show you. It is 10 by 7. Seven, seven by ten and one inch spine and I really really want to use this so I didn't do a lot of fanciness because I'm going to have it on the counter and it's going to be moving around so there's only one thing that's pop dotted right here is this label and it says our family recipes and I am going to take pictures our grandson loves to be in the kitchen with us he's two years old almost three and I'm going to take photos of him in the kitchen with us. And I'm going to also put recipes in it. So let me show you all the ins and outs of this book. I love it. Sorry about that lighting, but the sun's out. So um, my guardian angel, my little helper right here, my brother. So this is a tuck spot. And you can literally put two photos right here. If you don't like that, you can just cover it up. But what I did was I um, fussy cutted the same thing that's underneath. So this is just um, a second piece, but it's the same picture underneath. And you can put that there. This is a tuck spot right here. And then you have a pocket right here. And then everything that you see is part of the um, kit. So she has a menu planner and I did put ink everywhere. A menu planner and a little card and so I want to fill that up. So the next one is you can literally put pictures and then here is a tuck spot and then here is a smaller uh, menu planner and here's one of her cards but if you only want to put pictures you can still do that and it's very flat so I want this to be very usable and then right here is another one of her cards with a pocket and then this is a shopping list that you could literally use because I have the digitals so I'm gonna literally pack this when I gift them out too with a lot of these so that you can use them over and over and then they can call and say hey run me some more prints so that's what I love about learning about digitals <laughs> that I'm just now getting into after all these years so here is um, a recipe card that I shrunk down and here's the tuck spot right here but remember we can use this pocket for all of our recipes and we can put two photos right here that is four by six. So this is what I love about this size album. And it was beginner's album. This is such a beginner's album. And then right here is another shopping list. And here is the recipe card. And I just folded it over so that you can write your notes. And I left it blank here so that you can add whatever notes you wanted to add to it. So this is a very, very usable, doable um, 
album recipe book. So here is a tuck spot right here. Here is another pocket. Look at the image. Isn't that beautiful? And here is a tuck spot right here. It's like a hidden tuck spot. You wouldn't even know it. It's so flat. You can add your photo and it wouldn't even have a lot of bulk. But in this album, there is so much room that you could add more bulk. But here's the tuck spot that goes right there. Isn't that cute? You just glue it on an L shape or a backwards L, I guess. So, okay, the next page is um, pockets and more of her cards. And this has got a menu planner in it. And then here's a tuck spot. Probably wouldn't have even known it. If I wouldn't have moved it, you'd think that it goes with it. There's a tuck spot. And so here is another tuck spot. The apron was a little dainty. So I glued it totally flat. And then I made the rolling pin the tuck spot. Let me raise it up so you can see. That lighting is a pain in the hiney. So anyway, here's the tuck spot. And, and I think that that's just too cute. The next page is these are three cards. And all I did was put the three cards together and I put them at a skew. This one and that one and this one is straight. And I made them and then made a pocket out of them so that it would kind of show the paper and all. So here is a recipe card. And of course I need to print more recipe cards because I want to pack it with you know, maybe three or four recipe cards per pocket. And then here, I just fussy cut it all of her um, extra pieces and made a tuck spot right there. And then the last page is I fussy cutted the cake and um, the other pieces and I glued them together and then made a tuck spot here but it's so flat that you could put two pictures there. So don't let tuck spots or a recipe book not become a family favorite of your albums. So here is another recipe and a meal planner. <clears throat> and on this page, I just had an extra spoon that I laid on top of this one so it's kind of three-dimensional you could feel it so yeah and there is the back there's the side i think it's just gorgeous i really cannot wait to give this um a use a use a use <laughs> I just can't wait to use it. That's what I should be saying. And I really can't wait to make more and give them out. Um, I just think that this is going to be a beautiful gift and a keepsake, especially when you literally have the pictures inside it to use and all. So this was a very beautiful, fun project. Um, so, and it's just four pages. Um, and you add them together. There's the spine. It's a simple, simple spine. It's the stack the deck spine. And guess what? I'm going to make that video right now. So it's going to be my next video up. Um, so you need to subscribe and hit that bell so that you know what I'm up to and see all my shenanigans. So um, all my links are down below. And uh, Shabby Art Boutique's link will be down below too. Have a blessed day. Thank you for being here.